Hi, my name is Devin Fuller. Um, I am going to WashU for my internship experience this summer. So WashU stands is Washington University in St. Louis. Throws a lot of people off because it says Washington in the name, but it's named after the person, not the state. And this is going to be a fantastic experience. So I am actually a native of St. Louis. The shirt is from my wife. She's from Maryland. I am not. And so I'm actually home right now with my parents. I won't be staying here during the internship, but it's a nice intro. Um, uh, for the internship, I'll be working with Dr. Jason Hell. We're going to be studying cancer lines and looking at a redox pathway of cell signaling with these lines. So it should be quite interesting. I already have quite a few papers to read in order to prepare for myself for this internship and I should get going on those soon, seeing as the internship starts in about three or so weeks. I'm very excited. This is like the chance of a lifetime. I get to be here in St. Louis with my family. I get to work with a very distinguished university and it's all thanks to BYU's connection. Um, I hope to work hard and make connections here at WashU that will help me prepare for grad school. I'm a little nervous about just understanding all the material, of course, but I'm excited to learn and this is absolutely a miracle that we were able to receive this internship opportunity. Hi, this is Devin again. So we have finished our first week of the internship. So first impressions. It was fun. Um, the first few days was kind of more of an orientation type of deal. So they got a couple of the programs that wash you together. So that would be the Amgen program, BioBender app, which I'm taking part of. Um, that's my program. And like BP Endure. And they got all of us together, so that's like, I think they said 42 people. And just did some orientation. The first day was just a check-in and then a dinner. And so that was just in, they did an icebreaker and got to know us a little bit better. And then the second day was pretty much all meetings, just basic expectations. Um how to communicate well with your PI, your principal investigator, and so forth. Um, it's, it was pretty interesting. It was a very diverse group from many different backgrounds. And it was good. It was really good. Besides that, um, oh, and then this, you, might find this interesting for future students' sake. Um, they kept on mentioning statistics about how hard this program was to get into. It was about a 5% um, acceptance rate. So there were 42 people that got in over 800 applicants. And so BYU's connection with the program was incredibly beneficial in helping me and Taylor get the internship. So that was very good. And then after that, the next day we went to the lab and had our first kind of introduction with um, our PIs, our principal investigators, and just kind of getting acquainted with the lab. It was a fire hose of information really hard to handle all at once and frankly I got back after that day and I was completely exhausted but it was good. I now understand a lot better what the research is and what it's about. And then the next day after that was Friday and we just kind of jumped into learning lab techniques and I'm excited for next week just to really start working on experiments on my own and to get hands-on experience. This is much different research than from what I've done in the past at BYU. So I'm broadening my basis and hopefully this will make me a much more competitive applicant for grad school.
They also, through the internship, they also had a free training about the GRE and the MCAT, which is very useful. We get free materials to study for these tests. And I couldn't ask for more. It's great. Uh, this is Devin again, reporting about week three of my internship. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the video for week two, so for that, I apologize. But I'll make up for it in this report. So things have been going really smoothly. We're finally in the swing of things um, and actually getting down, well, just working on research and having a good time. So the interesting thing is that I was trained by a lab technician. Um, his name is Matt. And then he last week took his family to Disneyland. So with very little training, um, me and another summer intern who's here through a different program were thrust into the middle of the work with basically no supervision and very little advice. So that proved to be interesting. But we got by and my PI might have been a little bit annoyed at times with the number of questions we were sending his way instead of this lab technician. But it was good. We learned a lot and we implemented a couple of new um, protocols for assays that we haven't done yet. So as a recap, I'm working on studying um, the PI3 kinase AKT signaling pathway in ovarian cancer cells and how ROS or reactive oxygen species might influence that pathway and looking at an NOx inhibitor, uh, see if it could be a potential treatment. And we're getting data that is kind of ambiguous at this point, but it's starting to tell a story, uh, but I'll forbear on telling you anything about it, even if you're not sure if you care or not. But basically, it's highly interesting. I enjoy it, and this is a great experience. So I'm really happy so far about how it's going. Hello again. I'm not sure what video this is. I haven't been perfect at maintaining a weekly schedule, but I apologize and I will do better in the future. So this has just been an awesome experience. Um, everything's been going really well. The internship itself is a lot more than I anticipated. I thought it was just gonna be kind of a way to get you into a research lab and then you just do that for the rest of the summer. But they've really invested a lot of time and effort and giving us interesting courses, actually. So there's a whole series of lectures about how to get into grad school, which has been highly beneficial, just talking about entrance, entrance exams and talking with PhD students. We had a panel of PhD, PhD students talk to us recently. And yeah, it's awesome. They even gave us, well, free for us, but they gave us access to the Princeton Review online. And so I have a bunch of practice GRE tests, all for free, that I can take. And the same goes for those who are interested in taking the MCAT, which is huge. Usually it costs hundreds of dollars, if not more. Um, so that's been really great. Then there's also this pathway or a class called the Biotech Explorers Pathway or something like that. And they've just been talking about the history of biotechnology and kind of the more commercial side of the research that we've been doing and the implications thereof. So if you wanted to start your own business after grad school or something like that, it's kind of more down that road. So that's kind of the class section of internship. Besides that, my research has been going really well. Besides looking at the initial question that my PI wanted me to examine, which was the reactivity of my ovarian cancer uh, lines to a hydrogen peroxide dose curve, which he's done previously um, in breast cancer, I've noticed that um, the brightest cells that I was looking at in my imaging, this is looking at sulfonation levels, they happen to be cells that were undergoing mitosis. And I've confirmed this now, I've analyzed a lot of pictures, I've had to kind of write my own program to 
analyze it, so it was cool to learn that software. And I'm kind of going down a different direction now, so it's fun that I get to be independent and design my own exper experiments, and yeah, it's great. So that's the synopsis for the week. This is Devin again, reporting back in after week six. So, it, time is flying by, I can't believe that it's been, I, I think it's six weeks already. And everything's just been fantastic. I've really been enjoying my time here, and yeah. So today is one of those very, very rare but beautiful days where the temperature is not above 100 for the heat index. Um, and I'm outside at Queenie Park in St. Louis. I'll give you the other view. If, actually, I'm not sure if I can do that. Just kidding. Yeah, I'll just do that. So, very beautiful day. One of my favorite parts of the internship so far is that um, I'm from St. Louis, and so I've been able to spend a lot of time with family recently. Just with the festivities of the 4th of July and other excuses, we've gotten together quite often this week, and it's been really great. Um, my research is going well. I basically have been analyzing data that's already been collected. So that means I'm spending a lot of time on the computer, which is good because I'm learning new skills and techniques and so forth and analyzing data. But I also like the hands-on approach of the wet lab and I miss doing all the protocols and assays that I normally do, but that's okay. Um, everybody's been super supportive here. My program coordinator, Joel Dalton, is great. We met on Thursday and just discussed how things were going and my goals in terms of grad school and so forth. And they're just willing to do anything they can to support me and it's been really good. So that's the update. St. Louis is beautiful. It's a wonderful place to live. I am a little biased, but that's okay. And life is going well. So I'll report in next week. This is Devin again, um, talking another video blog. I have no idea what week it is now. I think we have about three weeks left, so we're coming to a close. It's been kind of fun because my project has evolved um, throughout the time. At first I was pretty much just given a project to work on. And I did that, and pretty much we found the response that well, we were looking to see if the cells would respond to a hydrogen peroxide dose um, curve, and they didn't. So I finished that. And then now I've started my own project with the emphase cells and cell cycle analysis, and this week it really took off. I um, added a NOx inhibitor to my cells, and I found out that this actually increases growth rates, it increases uh, important signaling cascades, uh, pathways, and it also I found out that there are more cyclins that are associated with mitosis um, in cells that are treated with my NOx inhibitor. So th that's probably a lot more detail than you need to know, but the important thing is that I'm able to design my own experiments, I can analyze the data myself and plan where I want to go, and that's been amazing. It's probably the best preparation that I can get for a PhD. And it's been really fun just to be independent and figure everything out. So yeah, this it's, internship is great, that's it. Thanks. For this video, I was hoping to show you um, the lab where I work at for this internship. So, if we, it looks like I can't reverse it the normal way, but this is my lab bench right here. It is not the cleanest. That kind of surprised me when I got here. But I suppose it shows you that a lot of work is done here and it gets done well. You get a lot of stuff done. So I've typically been working at this station and there's another summer intern who's been working down further on the bench and everybody else has their usual spot where they do everything. This is the culture room. 
Here's where, where I do my cell culture experiments in the sterile, well, hopefully, fume hood. We have our little incubator right here and centrifuge and so forth. And then, since we do a lot of imaging, we will go over here both for our western blots and for fluorescent microscopy into this room, which we have affectionately named the cave. It gets very dark and time passes in strange manners while you're in there and working. But that is the cave. So we're down to a couple more days of research and beyond that presentations, my project is wrapping up nicely. Submitted my poster title and abstract yesterday. And so now I just have to piece together my poster. I've already made the figures and I'll pretty much be done. It's pretty amazing how fast the summer has flown by. So this has been an awesome experience. It's helped me grow a lot and it's started off my career in the right way, so I could not ask for more. Thank you very much for your support and donations. Thanks. Okay, so we are at the end of week nine now. Time is flying by. So last video I said that I only had a couple more days left of research. What I... I was kind of incorrect when I said that. I really had a couple more days of research before I submitted my poster. I realize now that I'm still doing research after I submit the poster. It just won't be published there because the poster is already printed. But that's exciting on its own. Um, so the poster is printed. We're wrapping everything up and I was kind of losing momentum. I didn't really know what to do with my time, what experiments to run. But I have a couple more things planned that I wanted to do. And then yesterday, what, what was interesting is that I um, was just kind of looking at my data and I did a control experiment where I wanted to make sure that the thing that I've been observing, an increase in um, sulfonation during mitosis, is an actual effect and not just an artifact of the experiment. And so I used a probe that should have labeled all available cysteines instead of just the sulfonated cysteines. And, but I've noticed variability in my experiments and the full change difference between the non-mitotic cells and the mitotic cells is quite variable. And so in order to compare it, I decided to graph them all out. Um, and I assumed that it would be a straight line and I could compare the line to my data point with the other probe, the chemical probe. So I did that, and the and interestingly enough, well, maybe I didn't assume it was a straight line. I don't know. It was almost a perfect negative um, nat natural log. So the R squared value was incredibly good, like 0.996, and it was just a beautiful curve. The... It was, it was cool to look at. And it so happens that my IYN was like directly on the line. So trying to still figure that out, why on earth it's a negative natural log um, in the first place and what, what it means that the IYN, the other chemical probe, was on the line. So it's kind of a fun little discovery for my last week and it'll give me something to focus on and finish up strong. Basically, as a kind of a summary, I really enjoy research. I enjoy the thrill of discovery. I enjoy the collaboration with other people. So this has been a great experience for me. Thank you again. We'll talk to you next week. Hey, we are now at the end of the program. So this is my last video recording. We have finished all the 10 weeks and I am done with all my presentations and lab work. So the presentations went well. They had a couple different formats. With my um, lab, they had us present in the floor meeting um, that basically catered to the division of oncology. 
So that presentation was interesting because I was speaking to an audience of cancer biology experts and I couldn't, I felt silly going through my normal prelude about cancer and the cell cycle. So I didn't know how to start it and I was a little flustered and stumbled around. But after we got into the specifics, um, I did much better in recovery myself. And then we had the general poster presentations yesterday, and that was Friday. And that was great. Um, everything went well. My family came to support me. And they had a kind of a closing luncheon, and that was it. So uh, I am extraordinarily grateful for this opportunity. I think that it's made me a much more competitive applicant in terms of graduate school. Uh, I was recently extended the opportunity to attend the biophysics preview days at the University of Michigan, so they're going to pay for me to fly up there and check out their program before I do my applications. And I think that the only reason I got this, I they selected me out of all the applicants, is because of uh, my experience here at WashU. Well, maybe not the only reason, but that greatly helped. So this has been a very formative time for me in terms of learning how to be a scientist and how to approach problems, and it went really well. That's it.